Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalp on Facebook. Brother blew me away with the upgrades or updates that they gave us yesterday. Holy cow, they handed us all new machines pretty much. So those of you that have the original version of the Scan and Cut, you got yourself pretty much a Scan and Cut 2 minus the wireless. And I yes, I am checking on that, okay? So stay tuned if possible. Enough said about that. I don't want to confuse people. But, um, you got, you know, your SVG. Now, uh, you're able to use those files, which means, pay attention, um, you are no longer required to either use Canvas or Sure Cuts a lot. You can now use Make the Cut um, software because the Scan and Cut can read SVGs. Okay? Um, you probably want to actually take the file into the program first um, because sometimes there's a lot of different things that kind of need tweaked before you actually send it to the machine. Um, sometimes files have different layers and you kind of want to weed through those. Um, the machine cannot read layers. Um, it needs to be a single layer file. All right. Um, so just work on your SVGs before you send them straight to the machine. Um, and you'll avoid a lot of mistakes that way. Um, but they no longer need to be in an FCM. Like I've said before, I am a creature of habit. I really like using my shortcuts a lot, but I also like Make the Cut and all the little things they have in there. So, you have your choice now. You are not tethered to any certain program. You guys can go hog wild, and I really, I cannot wait to see the stuff that you guys create. And it's all thanks to Brother. They did not have to do any of this. Um, most companies, most cutter companies, the C word and the S word, you would have had to have bought a new machine. Too bad, so sad, stuff the money in our pocket, we're going to the bank. Um, it's just the way they are. They're all about business. Whereas, and of course you know Brother does not pay me. I'm not owned by anybody. Um, I'm dirt poor. Um, and I do all this based on my own opinions um, they really did listen to you guys um, and what your opinion you know is they really take to heart so that matters an immense amount to me um, all right let me shut up and get busy huh the first ever long-winded one I've had but I think it's really important the blade adjustment area I want to take a look at this one a little bit more it says it's to adjust how um, out of the cutting area your your blade is okay so what I'm thinking this is for um, is to actually give us a true um, 12 by 12 cutting area but you can back it down to 9 6 and 3 okay but I'm not sure on this but this is just from what I understand alright but you cannot go any lower than 3 it's just, it won't let you. And it comes preset at 12. So that's what I'm thinking is it, it, it actually gives us a true 12 by 12 cut now. All right. Let's get out of that. Let's come in here to pattern. This is so cool. Okay. I made this in sure cuts a lot. I personally will, yes, definitely keep using it because I really like the program and it lets us do a lot of things. Okay, before... Um, let me come back in here. Let me show you something. I want to ask if brother people do watch this, if they could right here add an undo button because how many times have you done this? Oh my goodness. Well, you can try to put it back, but good luck getting it right where it was. So if they could add a uh, undo button right there in that initial screen, that would be so helpful because, man, I can't tell you how many times I've screwed up a file and have to go redo it all, go out, exit, and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are. Let's come to the three boxes. We want to unify it right that's what we've had to do all the other times and it says you can't undo it oh goodness look at what we've got now we have a purple box well what's that mean 
Well, the Unify warning screen didn't come up. It groups it. So while that's purple and red, it's grouped. Click it again, and it's ungrouped. Okay? And look at what just happened there. I completely did that because guess what? It's ungrouped again. Okay? All right, so let's come in here. Let's grab these. We don't want to group the whole thing, so let's not do that. Let's come in and group that one. Let's come in and group that one. Okay? So now we have both of them. All right, so now we have both of them selected. You must have two items selected to use this next tool. It's in this arrow section. Do you see these um, two little line looking things? I need to back up out of here because I need to up. Come on. No. I hate when this thing does this. There we go. I need to put this about right there. Okay. Quit clicking the wrong ones, Jennifer. Okay. Now here we go. Alright, so let's click this one. And what this does is this helps with lining things up so you don't have to do it by eye anymore. And you don't have to worry about those plus signs anymore. Wherever this line is, is where your design will be lined up. So if you want it lined up centrally, if you want those two plus signs or the center of your design lined up in the center, you'll hit those. If you want them lined up right here, you'll hit that. If you want them lined up on the bottom, that one. Top, that one. Over to the left side, this one. Over to the right side, this one. Okay? You cannot individually move these in this screen because you are in this screen where you're using these tools to move it. Okay? If you have three designs, this button become or these two buttons become available okay and as you see this is new so of course it takes me pushing 35 buttons to get to what I need and that's what I recommend is you coming in um, not in a rush not needing to get a file done in two minutes but coming in and using this all right so that you are comfortable with how it works and all of the different things that are now available to you because we really do have a lot of really cool stuff now um, that we're able to use. Alright guys, if you have any questions at all you can come and find me or Nicola over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook and most of the updates that just happened for the original Scan and Cut, those transfer over. Um, I try to do my videos so that they're not one machine specific so that you can use them um, for, let's say if you have a 250 or 550, so that you can uh, transfer them over to use with that. So I'm not focused on this being a 650 only video. This is just a machine in general video. So all of your original scan and cuts go through and if you're looking for how to use SVGs, how to get them over there, just search SVG and my name. Okay, so go ahead and do it that way. Alright guys, have a great day.